Yes. Pitiful, disgusting, lower than dirt subjects. It is I, it is I. The one you applaud and look up to. The one that you aspire to be. Your symbol of hope. Your king of beer too. And I have a beer mail from one of the many peasants out there in beer land. Um, sent me quite a bit of stuff. He sent me my official robe and crown. That's right. Better recognize. Sent to me by the beer zerker himself. Uh, only the beer zerker himself would be this crazy as to send me this shit. As well as a box that um, was about as hard to break into as a fucking lament configuration. I was kind of scared that some fucking Cenobites were going to show up. Uh, yeah. So very much appreciated, sir. And he sent me a bunch of cool looking stuff. First off, uh, from Nelson Brewing Company. Their Wild Honey Organic Ale. Okay. The fuck was that? Um, from Ribstone Creek. Old Man Winter Porter. And that's got a cool can, man. Look at that. Definitely going to keep that one. All right. I think this is from the same one, Ribstone Creek, yes. Lone Bison India Pale Ale, unfiltered. There you go, sweet. Nice cans, man. Look at the cans on that brewery. Two in stubbies from... Uh, Scandal Brewing, I assume, is what they are? Holy shit, they got a bunch of stuff going on in there. Mm. Oh, it's Pacific Western Brewing. In Prince George, B.C. Interesting. And this is their uh, Scandal Lager and Scandal Ale. So there you go, that looks cool. We'll get into all the label details and stuff when I actually do the reviews, but that's very neat looking. Now we have the ALP Golden Ale from Bad Tattoo Brewing Company. This looks like a one of those um, artist series where they got artists doing the uh, labels for their beers. So there you go. Big old bottle of that. Then we have Phillips Crookeder Tooth Barrel Aged Pumpkin Ale. Wow, strong spice beer. Barrel Aged Pumpkin Ale, 7.3%. There you go. Nice. Still not too late to have a pumpkin ale. I don't care what anyone says. But I'm not one of these people who has like a million of them thrown at me at like in July, so I'm not sick of them yet. yet. Um, so you know, I can never understand how some people, as soon as fucking October's over, they don't want to fuck see a pumpkin beer ever again. Uh, and here we go from Leganitas Hop Stupid Ale. Interesting, I've heard of that one. 102 IBUs. Very cool. spread of beer worthy of a king I must say uh, thank you very much Beerzerker very much appreciated uh, don't know when I'm going to get something out to you it's either going to be this month or December one or the other but I will get something back to you um, of course I have also to worry about the um, albino rhino's little secret Santa beer trade thing that's going on as well so I got a plan for that when I once I get the address of whoever I'm sending to um, but yeah, I, I will get something out to you before the year's over, and that'll effectively be the last beer mail I send out. If anyone else sends me any fucking beer, you're not getting anything back. Just saying. At least not this year. It's just not going to happen. Um, last three beer mails I sent out cost me 70 bucks. So, yeah, not happening. Not fucking happening for a while. Um... 
but yeah, I will I will try to fast track some stuff back to you, Beerzerker. Thank you very much. Probably won't send you any costumes. I mean, if two guys sending each other costumes, I mean, if someone's into that, that's great. But we're both heterosexual males, so that could get kind of weird. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. Your king may bestow a knighthood on you at some point. So get ready for that. Alright guys, be good, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.